Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com with another look at another camera I bought at the car boot. Um, I think I bought this one last week. Now this is really unusual this. Um, and it's, it's quite difficult to get your head around to actually how it works. It's a film camera, 35mm, um, not an SLR, uh, not a single lens reflex. The way that you compose your pictures is by looking through that little viewfinder there. Um, but rather unusually, and I guess this was probably the standard thing in the olden days in the 60s when this was probably made, is that there's no way that you know whether you're, you can check whether your picture is in focus. Okay, And it also only has three shutter speeds. And it also only, uh, sorry, it has no way of giving you an electronic exposure, so there's no light meter build, built into the camera. So you think, well, how on earth do you use it then? Well, let me show you. The first thing you do is you, you put your film in, um, and then what you have to do is you set your um, ISO of your, the film you've put in. So, for example, say I'm using ISO 100 film. You can see that little white dot, so I set that to there. So I've set that to 125 to, to 100 ASA or ISO. And what that does is if we turn the camera around and we look at the shutter speeds, see the shutter speeds there, 1, 2, 5, 60 or 30, that automatically means if you're using 100 speed film, you're shooting at 125th of a second. So there we go. And then you either use a light meter or you can use these very basic sort of guides to what your shutter speed, should, your uh, aperture should be. So you're controlling your exposure by the uh, aperture. So if it's a cloudy day, you put it there. Uh, sorry, overcast cloudy, sunny cloudy, overcast sunny, and a bright sunny day. So if we're there, we're sort of on sunny day. If we then turn the camera around, we probably just about make out that that little white line there is next to f16, and that's the you know that corresponds with the sunny 16 rule we know. So if you're shooting film um, and you want to know uh, need to approximate an exposure and you don't have access to a light meter if it's just your subject is in bright sunlight you shoot at f16 and you set your shutter speed to whatever your speed is, your film speed is so if you're shooting at ISO 100 film you set your shutter speed to 1 100th of a second if you're shooting with ISO 400 film you set it to 400th and that should roughly give you a good exposure now remember with film you do get a lot more leeway with exposure than you do with a digital camera and ideally this sort of uh, beast should be used with a handheld light meter as well but um, I can't wait to have a go. Now the final thing is focusing. So how on earth do you focus it? Because you know you look through the viewfinder, and that doesn't give you a clue. But you, you focus by turning this little little wheel here, this focusing ring, and you can probably just make out distant marks on it. So 2.5 feet, 3 feet, 3.5, 4, 5, 7, through 30, then to infinity. So what you have to do is estimate your camera distance to your subject and pop it on there. But what's really great about this camera, sort of as a learning experience, is that it's also got depth of field markings on it. Um, let's see if we can, you can probably just about see them around there. So what that means is, if I think I need to focus on something that's about 10 feet away, I know it's odd, it's a German camera and it's measured in feet. Strange, I know, you think it'd be meters, but 10 feet away. What I can do is, if I just check my f-stop, which is f16, I can check the depth of field here and you might just be able to read there it says 16 there and 16 there so if I then look at the distances I know at f16 if I'm focused, in, focused on something 10 feet away everything further from the subject through to really infinity should be in focus and if we come around to here there's f16 again and everything up to about five feet away so my f my effective stuff that's going to be in focus is going to be from five feet to infinity at f16 with this particular lens on this particular camera which is a 2.9 um, 45 millimeter so i think it's a great learning tool and i can't <laughs> wait to i guess you'd say throw off the shackles of worrying about 
exposure too much and just see what you can come up with with an incredibly basic little compact film camera. Now the other great thing I like about this camera is I can get a light meter and obviously use that with it but it's also pretty small. Um, you know, if you compare it with say an SLR that's a film SLR, you know, film SLR is big black sort of thing where this is nice and jaunty sort of silver colour and it's going to be great for sort of um, street photography I think, you know, where you just go out and you're taking pictures around and you don't look like you know, a terrorist with a big black camera that apparently the police think people, terrorists would use you know, it's quite an inoffensive little thing that you can whip out and uh, take pictures with it sort of a bit of history as well, I probably feel a bit like um, Henri Cartier-Bresson walking around changing the the focusing distance and the f-stop while I'm sort of looking at the subject and then sort of pulling on and um, and taking the shot. So that's uh, a Bayret, I don't know what model it is because it's got no model numbers on it, came with a nice uh, leather case as well and uh, I can't wait to have a go. That's uh, Rob from RobLongPhoto.com, thanks for listening.